What's up, my crowns of tiaras? Welcome to Etoxic Teen Lounge. Everything in this video is allegedly. Let's talk. As y'all can see, I'm up close and personal. No nothing. Just listen. Let me put this video out there. So don't mind my hair. I don't care. So today we are going to be discussing Marsh sister who goes by the name of Barbie Styles on Instagram. Okay, she has some things to say when all this situation happened. And we are going to be talking about that. We also got some Taseki, who is Kashan Rock's sister, and Tristan, who is their nephew, who is coming out. This is not the first time, but he is, you know, resurfacing about the essay allegations between Taseki, Mookie, and the siblings, Kashan Rock siblings, okay? We're going to be talking about that briefly, okay? We're going to be talking about Ari Fletcher, Sexy Red. Okay, whoa, Ricky. Okay, and crazy in love comments because you already know I covered crazy in love already with my review. So, all right, let's start with um, Taseki and Tristan. Okay, as y'all know, Tristan, who is um, Taseki's nephew, who is China, they're you know, Kashan and them sister, the oldest sibling, China, that is his mom. He is coming out. I do not know who really put the information back out there because once Taseki and Kashan Ra got viral, you know, with their altercation and everything going on, it resurfaced again. Now, his mom, China, Ben came out over a year ago. I Ben spoke about this. So if you would like to scroll down, keep scrolling, and you'll see. Um, I think that the video is circus, uh, like circulating around on YouTube because people are commenting on the old video. But, yeah, I spoke about it already. Um, So this is not nothing new. I'm going to just give y'all my take on it. I'm going to put some clips of the mom recently, okay, recent lives that she put out there. Um, also, some video clips of Tristan um, going live and things that he had to say. And the things that's being said on both sides on their end, I'm going to go based off that on my opinions on it. So, like we know. Anybody could come out with a story, and it's sad if this did happen. Now, the situation happened when he was 7, and Taseki was, like, around 10, because they are not that far apart in age, all right? So, there were kids. They are they were kids in the situation, and when according to Tristan, when he asked Taseki at the time, da 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 she said they was playing house, right? He laughed it off. He's in a live laughing it off. We are going to be talking about that, and we are actually going to go watch the clips right now. So, let's go look at them clips. Man, Tifa ain't gonna admit that sh Every time we brung it out and brung it up to her ass, you know what this said? <laughs> we was playing house. <laughs> we was playing house. That's what that said. She said we was playing house. Ha! <laughs> yeah, man, Latifa, man, we always gonna talk. Even to this day, I talk to Shorty if she say sorry. I talk to her. Y'all tripping. Y'all got the game. This is my family still. You feel me? They, my they did all this crazy shit. Me, but at the same time, I was seven years old. We was children. They ain't happened to me as I got older. None of that. Hell no. Nah. They did that when I was a child. They fucked up. They did some weird. Cool. I grew the fuck up. I distanced myself. All I asked was for sorry. All right. So y'all seen the clips, right? Now my thing is this. Okay. Y'all see me in the comments, okay? If you want to see the full videos, go to Etoxic Teen Lounge. That's my Instagram, okay? Y'all seen the clips that I put out there, okay? Those are the important clips. Those are the nitty-gritty, let's get to the point type clips. So the thing about it is this. I understand if this did happen. I, I'm saying if because we don't know this for sure, okay? Anybody could say anything, okay, at this point in time because, you know, based around Krishan and everybody else, it seems like a lot of people around her looking for clout, or, you know, just want to come up. Now, if you notice in the lives and everything else, when it comes to China, who is his mom, let's talk about her first. She's always been talking about promoting her book, publishing her book. All right. Telling the details of the situation that happened in her life. And that's fine. You know, but she was asking for GoFundMe. People um, caught on to her buying a new apartment and all that stuff. So they're thinking that she was scamming, trying to get all this money for other things other than publishing that book. We still don't see that book. OK, and I don't know much about China because she blocked me. So I don't know. I go by what people send me or things that I already see online. So 
with that being said in the beginning i was like wow that's messed up da, 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 da. that's crazy that's her truth that's her story there's always a another side of a story then when everything started circulating and coming up coming about Taseki spoke about it she was real she felt real adamant about you know how she felt about her dad and you know saying that China was a liar and none of that never happened so it was it was two different sides of the story okay now to my understanding the only person that came out about the SA um, was China okay she said that their dad did it to her okay Tristan is saying that you know his mom siblings violated him okay um but my thing is this, like I said, if it, if it happened, it's messed up, okay? It was a very long time ago. They were kids. My question is this. Who really, like, the playing house thing, okay? Like, a lot of kids don't even know about playing a house. Where, where are they getting it from? Why, why are these young kids even doing this to any other kid at all? Like, that's the question. What is going on around or what's going on in their life, what they're seeing, what's being done to them? For them to even, you know, put it upon some other child. That's just weird to me if that's the case. Okay. That's the real question. What is going on with those kids at that time? Okay. Now, I don't know what's going on. Like I said, this is when they was kids. Everybody is almost 30 years old. Okay. My question is, what do you want to do about it now? What are what type of justice or what type of what type of closure it, um, are y'all trying to get out of this? Um, because it seems like. Just like I was on a live and I said it, I said, it just seems like a coincidence that all of a sudden Taseki, you know, and Kashawn got this thing going on. Kashawn looking like the bad guy. She pregnant, da, 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 da. All of a sudden, boom, Taseki essay allegations, all this other stuff resurfaced back again. I just think it's a coincidence in my opinion. And then you got Tristan who is making these lives, talking about, oh my God, my face is on all the blogs and oh yeah, my music this, my music that and just saying a whole bunch of stuff to just try to really get some clout. But then he turns around and say he doesn't care about the clout, but he likes the clout. He likes the attention that he's getting right now. We could clearly see that in his lives, but it is what it is. I guess everybody's trying to have a come up They probably use their traumatic, you know, life experience that happened 800 years ago to try to benefit it from 2023. That's just my opinion. Okay, now let's get into, okay, some of the Taseki. She clearly, um, I don't know if it's an Airbnb. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a, a fully furnished apartment that they rented out in um, Pennsylvania or whatever the case may be. But let's go look at the clips. Um, Taseki and her bestie is putting out videos, you know. It seems like they have a, a good friendship, okay. They, um, it just looked like, you know, and I'm going to play the clips also with Taseki playing cards with Smiley. That's the, you know, the cast member on Baddies East. It just looks like Taseki is getting along with the females on Baddies East also. So we are going to just keep it on that type of category. We're going to, let's just go play the clips of Taseki and Tay Tay, all right. Let, showing y'all the crib and also something that Taseki had to say. Um, so let's get into it. <laughs> y'all, my house is so beautiful. Like, look at this. The nightstands light up, the mirrors got Bluetooth. Yeah. <laughs> Said nothing even matters. Said nothing even matters to me. Nothing even matters at all. In my bathroom, it turned you more sexy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Finish up through this bathroom sexy. <laughs> March. <laughs> Check. Second. Check. No, March. Check. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hold on. March. Check. Check. No, me. Okay. I like to keep eating. I'm not done eating. All right, y'all. So, y'all seen the clips. All right. It was a beautiful, you know beautiful apartment home whatever it is okay do not know if it's an airbnb like i said or if they you know purchased or rented out a fully furnished um crib we do not know but they are in pennsylvania okay and it looks like their friendship is good like i stated and did y'all not notice that taseki is as if she was writing a list she was like marsh check j next okay so exactly what i was saying is confirmed that taseki violated marsh okay everybody kept saying no jay's the one in the hospital jay's the one that got da, 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 da. well clearly we already heard cuzzo in the car on her live say that you know marsh is in a hospital we also just got confirmed confirmation from taseki that you know she already violated marsh and jay's next so i guess she is really trying to get that lick back right but 
I just come to say this, okay? I do not know what the problem is with Krishan Rock. Maybe she seen that everybody was showing her sister love and, you know, she has that star quality and she just, that's just her personality. But Krishan should know that. They're siblings. I guess they just have that in them. So I just felt like Taseki, you know, I don't know if that's going to last long. I do not know it because, you know, they just started filming. So I do not know if Taseki's going to keep this you know, cool friendship with the girls in the house. Um, but we shall see when baddies these airs. Okay, so that's basically all I want to touch based on that situation. But we are gonna let's talk about Marsha's sister, Barbie Styles. Okay. Now she made a video when the incident happened and she has some things to say. So let's get into it. I was definitely not gonna creep at myself because like I told you the time I go back to prison, it's gonna be for a real motherfucking reason. And baby, I'm gonna show you how you really motherfucking Eat around this month. Kind of mix the West Coast with these East Coast bitches. Baby, we're gonna show you how to really get down. We're gonna show you how a real baby really get down, okay? Cause you doing all this internet talking. We ain't about to be on this internet. Kill my sister. She fine. No healing needs to be done. No healing at all. You gonna be needing to set your. Matter of fact, the little money you making with Zeus in them right now, I need you to save it for your mother arrangements. Cause you gonna need it badly. Cause. I right. So basically. She's not playing around with her sister, okay? Let's also put up um the DM because I did reach out to Barbie Styles and, you know, just ask a couple questions or whatever because at first I didn't know who she was at first to um, Marsh. I just, I did know that her and Jane um, had jumped Cuzzo at one point um, and I reached out at that time, but she only thing she did was put the laughing emoji on the comment that said she didn't really say anything much, but this present time she had something to say and, you know, sister blood sister call it sister whatever it is okay they do look alike though so i'm just gonna say sister okay that is her sister she's gonna go back for her okay and that's just what it is so i'm pretty sure that the situation is not done yet because you know everybody's gonna get want to get their lick back and it's just gonna go back and forth it's just gonna be a, a non-going like ongoing beef like it's just it's just never gonna end okay so we see what barbie styles had to say let's get into a part where Krishan's ex best friend, you know, the friend that she, the best friend that she had before the fame and everything, AJ. Let's look at, cause she just recently went live and a lot of the rock turds is in there, you know, just uh, brainwash and everything else. They felt the need that everybody has to kiss Krishan's but and nobody's gonna be doing that okay now if you decide to be brainwashed and be gullible with everything that she do and never take her accountability for nothing then that's on y'all but it's people out here with real like grown mature brain sets and this is just how we look at it okay so let's get into what aj had to say in her live and on her clips you and her look away exactly Straight ahead. Y'all all like I'm cross-eyed. That's what the f I'm here. Exactly. I don't. I don't have to kiss nobody. And I think that's where y'all got it bad. Cause it don't give kiss. Yeah, I don't have to kiss nobody. Bro, and that's like you could just be a friend and be a friend, my nigga. I don't think she pay y'all to do it. Like, y'all be thinking motherfuckers be needing a clout. Don't nobody need clout. We love each other. People that really love you, they, they don't really need to use that shit. All right, from what I'm getting from the video is that AJ doesn't have any type of like real malice towards um uh, Krishan Rock. She's more so. You know, they know each other. They have history. They're probably going through a rough time right now, just like Taseki and Krishan. They're actual sisters. So, you know, I think that she said what she had to say, okay? And I already spoke about it, put it out there on my video, so make sure y'all go check it out, okay? It just seems like, yeah, it's a lot of back and forth. It's a lot of um, feelings um, on each side, okay? Um, Krishan Rock really didn't out speak about anything but we know when it comes to blue face she definitely goes on that twitter and on that story to make sure things are being known but when it comes to serious things family and friends and stuff like that the people that really matters she don't got really much to say she 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 disrespects everybody if y'all see crazy in love she disrespects her mom she almost put her hands on her mom her face and all type of stuff i just feel like that's weird and if you don't have a relationship with your mom and you feel some type of way about your family i feel like you should just keep your distance okay that's i mean that's what i would do but everybody's not the same everybody would stay in uncomfortable situations and it's just 
it's just weird. Okay, but we're going to be off that subject. We already touched base on everything about that. Okay. Um, also, let me just put this out there. Okay, because I know a lot of people were like, oh, why you ain't talking about Krishan going to church and crying and stuff like that? <laughs> Let's put up the clip of her in church. Let's go. It's for your family. It's for your children. I want you to know that God is concerned about your family. He's Hallelujah. Now, let me stop y'all. All right. So we've seen Krishan at church crying and praising the lord okay now does that mean anything to me it does not okay it doesn't change the person that she is it just shows that she just recently just was in some mess okay was going viral pregnant doing a whole bunch of stuff turned around and think that she could go to church and everybody could just forget the things that she has done and that she is doing it's not gonna work over here i'm sorry she never takes accountability for nothing at all when it comes to her actions, okay? She just recently just got in trouble, like, the other day, okay? Police reports is already out. Charges are going to be dropped, allegedly, okay? So we are not going to just, oh, my God, I've been seeing people seeing her with this church clip and, like, oh, my God, she's just so godly and oh she's on the right path and this and this and that how y'all take this 15 this 15 second church clip and y'all just run with it why it's weird people with actual brains that see the things that's going on it's not going to be like oh my god she's changed this is not even a right path if she was going the right path and the things that she's recently getting herself into and the actions that she's doing, she would not be doing it. Church is not going to change this girl unless she's really devoted and really dedicated and to really changing herself for the better for her child. I'm not going for it. OK, so, yeah, it's, it's a cute image to see her at church crying with Jay and everybody else that was there with her. But let's just face the facts. As soon as she leaves that church, you think that she's going to be not getting as to any negativity not happening but anyway i said what i had to say about that situation so let me know how y'all feel about the situation how y'all think it's going to go okay mm-hmm. now let's talk about ari fletcher there is a clip circulating around where we are about to get into right now let's get into the clip <laughs> he's messy <laughs> who said I'm, no let's not get into it he is that was messy that that is why you don't like her? Why she don't like me? Hmm? Why she don't like me? Wait, she doesn't like you? That's what you said. Why you saying she does like you? <laughs> All right, y'all. So, how do y'all feel about that? But listen, y'all. <clears throat> what I'm getting out of this clip is okay. Tata is not talking badly about his mom in front of him, okay? Because he's a kid. He sees energy. He knows things that's going around, things that's being said. And he got a serious question for his mom. Why don't you like Tata? <laughs> he knows for a fact she doesn't like her because I'm pretty sure Ari be talking her stuff around her kid to her kid or whatever. You clearly just seen you said that. What do you mean? So you're believing a your young child. <laughs> you're a whole adult. That just speaks a lot. That speaks volumes. OK, why would you blame your child for a beef that you got with G Herbal's other baby mother? Just just not sitting right with me. It looks like her son really likes Tata. Clearly. OK, clearly, because he's more on look like he more on Tata side. You know, he understands Tata. He just don't understand why his mother has the issue with Tata. OK, and if your son is the one that, you know, said Tata don't like you, then why isn't he? Why he look confused? Why is he not admitting this? A kid would definitely blur out some stuff. OK, you could definitely see the difference. How do y'all feel about that? OK, because this Tata and Ari and G Herbo, the son, you know, a whole it, it's been a mess. OK, Ari always come out with these reasons as to why she doesn't like Tata or this is and this is and that. But it just don't be given. It just feel like she has some her own personal vendetta against her or something, you know, because when I see Tata, I don't see her being weird with her son or none of that stuff from what we see. OK, we seen that her son actually loves Tata, you know, and I just feel like they need to get it together because Ari 
even excuse me even in this clip she acts clueless she acts like dumbfounded as if she doesn't know what's going on and the actions that you know she put out there when it comes to her and tata is just weird to me but anyways that's how i feel about that situation okay how do y'all feel about that what when y'all look at that clip what do y'all see what do y'all see in that clip? No. Okay. Now, also, we are going to be talking about Sexy Red. This is not going to be too long because it's something simple. It's something I just want to talk about. All right. So, Sexy Red posted up some recent pictures with her and Drake. <laughs> now, this is the second time, okay, that, you know, she put it out there. She had her little caption. She's with her man waiting for her other one to come out of jail. But we already know, like, yeah, not together. Okay. I mean, it's cute. I mean, something about sexy red. She has definitely she to me, she has a sex appeal. Okay. And I think more so without the glasses. <laughs> to me, for me, without the glasses is more sex appeal to me. But she definitely has a sex appeal to her. And do y'all think that her and Drake smashed? Could be. Right. But they're not really gonna speak about it because that's their that's their, you know, they doing that, then that's their business or whatever, unless they get caught doing something else and then it's going to go viral. But, you know, I feel like, well, she did say Drake. She did, you know, her and Drake supposed to come out with something, but she wasn't sure. So she said she's just going to see. So do y'all think that Drake and Sexy Red, um, you know, probably in the studio cooking up some work? Do y'all think that? Let me know down in the comments below. We are going to be talking about Whoa Ricky. We already discussed Whoa Ricky coming out, pressing charges on Krishan Rock. That is the document that's circulating around. But it is um, from other sources is saying that there are multiple people in this case. But where's the documents? I need the documents. So if y'all come across the documents, send it to me. And we will discuss it, okay? Because as of right now, we know for sure that um, Tata Sky and Krishan Rock was the aggressive ones in the situation um, when it comes to Will Ricky. Now, Will Ricky came out and she made a YouTube video explaining her side of the story. And we are going to be talking about um, a specific, certain sp specific clips, okay? We are going to be talking about. Now, let's get straight into it. I went there thinking that it was going to be good. Um, I was under impression, told, actually told by someone, by the main people, that there will be no fighting. You don't have to fight. We're trying to do something new and positive, stuff like that. My reason, because at first I didn't want to go, I, I told them, I don't want to go. I don't want to be fighting. I don't want to go because I don't want to be fighting. They said, okay, cool. You don't have to fight. It's not like that. It's not like that. We're trying to change it up. We're trying to change it up. You know what I'm saying? So, what do I'm like, okay, cool, okay, cool. I do it, I do it, type stuff. What's right? All right. So basically, what Ricky is like, okay, to her understanding, the people in the Zeus, it could have been Lemieux, Natalie, could have been anybody that's high up that, you know, runs the, the network, is telling her, listen, there's not going to be fighting this season. We're trying to change up some things. And you don't got nothing to worry about, basically. But when she got up there, she felt set up. OK, now the circumstances, ba basically what she was giving and her side of the story, definitely read set up. OK, why were they set up a at the end of the day? I just felt like she could like whatever she wants to like. It's the Internet. If she agrees or disagrees with something then she's entitled to do that. Who are y'all to want to jump somebody or attack somebody because they like something that you that has something to do with you or you assume something or whatever the case may be. It's petty and childish. Grow up. That is a reason why there is a like button. There is a reason why you can double tap to like something. It's a reason. So you can like something. It doesn't have to be something positive. It could be something that Krishan Rock is doing that she agree with. It could have been somebody that said, all right, Krishan Rock always want to talk about God and stuff like this. But she's always out here attacking people and not doing right. And she's not really trying to change her thing. And if Warwicky liked that, then she agreed with it. Then she agreed with it because it's, that's just how she feels. Like, that's just weird to me, okay? And another thing, I just feel like Warwicky should not even went on the show. She knew exactly what the show was about, okay? We seen the little clip before, which you, you know, um fighting an imaginary bug or fighting an imaginary person and acting like as if you was about to be something up we already know Will Ricky is not really about that we have not seen Will Ricky online with drama besides the bad baby situation that was a little while ago when she felt like she had to defend herself because bad baby was coming at her and she did she did what she had to do 
Okay, I don't think Will Ricky is a punk. I don't think that. I just think that she's a problem. She's not a problematic person. And a lot of people that's on the show is a problematic drama, want to fight, and this is just how their lifestyle is. Or if not, they come on the show to try to be somebody that they're not. And we see it all the time. We see it all the time. So, yeah, if you're quiet and, you know, she coming in there speaking godly and all this other stuff, then people probably don't want to hear all that God stuff all day. They probably took, you know, probably took the anger out on her or whatever the case may be but i think that's messed up but i feel like um she also said that you know the money was looking right so she took it also after they said that there wasn't gonna be no fighting and no none of that now i like i said i do not know what the contract consists of of with zeus but we shall see how the these charges and how this case is gonna play out so let me know how y'all feel about what what ricky said and the whole situation regarding what ricky Krishan and whoever else that tried to jump in it was given very much weak okay like i said uh tata sky she's older she's like almost 40 right she's in her 30s it's just like why would you do this like it's just this is not and like i said from the jump all right i feel like there should be a certain age um max for people to go on that show i feel like when you're in your 30s 40 you should not be on that type of show i feel like leave the show to the young ones that really actually is trying to still learn themselves trying to really change themselves before they get worse before they hit their 30s okay i feel like that's a t- that's the age range 20s maybe 18 to probably 25 something like that like come on now but anyways that's all i gotta say about that situation now let's talk about crazy in love this is the last thing that we are going to be talking about crazy in love we already i already gave my review so make sure y'all go check out the video um for the latest episode now we are going to just be getting into some comments okay and it seems like a lot of people are siding with blue face okay let's get into some of these comments <laughs> Okay, y'all, so I'm going to say this right now, and then we're going to end this video. Blueface was, Blueface is disrespectful. He talk his stuff, okay, but one thing I can say about Blueface, and you can, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but from what, from what I see and from my experience, Blueface be telling the truth. He tells it how it is. He doesn't have to sugarcoat. He tells you raw and uncut how it is, how he feel, how he want things done. That's just how he is. And people around him that's still in his life, like his baby mother, Jaden and Wack 100 and anybody else that's around him, they still there because they know and they they know how to handle him. They know how he is. So they just accepting it and they just know how to handle him accordingly. Right now, when it comes to Kashawn Rock, she she doesn't give him his props. She doesn't give him that. All right, we're not going to act like he did not introduce her to the world from Blue Girls Club. She was there season one. We already know this. All right, y'all might say, oh, my God, she already had a fan base and she already did this. She was doing that. Okay, but she was not where she at right now when it comes to clout, fame, and money at all. Because if she had that, like she said it in the show, it could have been anybody else if it wasn't him. But why didn't you do that? Why Why wasn't you famous before him? Why it took you to go on Blue Girls Club to get famous? Give that man his props. He introduced you to the world and you put yourself in situations with him. And y'all got to where y'all got together. Because without Blueface and the drama and all this other stuff, all you would have been doing was fighting females. And that would have been boring. That's why they put you on Baddie Show. Because you be fighting. And they want to see the views. They want to see... You know, that's just that's just what the show was about. So give him his props, okay? Accept him or don't accept him. If you don't accept him, um, just leave. And if you accept him, just deal with the stuff that he has to um, put to the table. And that is not being faithful because we already know he's not a, a, a faithful person, okay? So far, he has been faithful to Jaden Alexis. Maybe this is the longest he ever been. I don't know. No females came out saying that he they did anything with him recently. He hasn't been with Kashawn Rock lately. Um, besides that time when you know she wanted to show people that he, you know, it was in her bed. <laughs> After plenty of time, she said that she was done. So yeah, I'm not gonna believe that she's done as of yet with him. They are having a baby on the way. Okay, so there are a lot of things that they have to talk about. But she doesn't give him his credit. Okay, she basically he was spitting a lot of facts on that um on that show, and uh, you could tell that he was really speaking facts because. All she kept saying is, what do you mean this? What do you mean? What do you mean? You know exactly what he mean. He said what he said, and that's just that. Okay? You know exactly what you signed up for, like he said. 
Okay, you know exactly how he gets down because before you even really got into it with him, into it and with him, you see how he was doing the girls. You see how he was doing you. So let's stop acting dumbfounded. Let's stop acting like you didn't know what was going on. You ain't know he was this type of person. We all knew and we was on. We are the outsiders looking in and we already knew this. So you you up close and personal with him. You knew this. You just decided that you wanted to deal with. With, with blue face okay and now you're blue now now it's too late you're about to have a baby together and that's definitely something that's definitely gonna last a very long time um but we do not know how that's gonna go okay but the comments are basically you know he's funny blue face is funny okay he's definitely a comedian to me okay um you could definitely see the soft spot um, with Blueface, he shows us here and there but i don't think people really pay attention to it because they're so they so wrapped up into him being a narcissist and disrespectful and doing this and doing that. And he does have a soft spot to him. Krishan Rock has a soft spot to her, okay? But she mainly wants to show the hard side, the rough side, I don't care side, uh, I disrespect you side. She just want to show that side. But I feel like if she should show more of the soft spot and really, you know, try to change and make it seem like she's really trying to change and show the world that she's really ready to be a mom and, you know, starting to put some actions into play, then maybe she'll have a, out, a different outlook when it comes to her image. But until then, you're going to just continue to hear me say what i gotta say because it's nothing positive to talk about in a situation okay i said this plenty of times jade and alexa she's not and no she's not um you know winning up she don't got no one up on nobody in this situation krishan rock don't got no one up on this situation nobody is winning in this situation besides blueface because blueface has both the females going crazy okay doing whatever recording and all this other stuff and he just plainly just telling y'all how it is and this is what's just gonna happen and this and this and that and if you don't like it i guess the drama is gonna end up happening is either he gonna leave you alone you feel some type of way you're stalking him you're pulling up or pregnant and doing all type of stuff and you never take account ability Krishan so I feel like you need to start doing that okay you 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 are the problem in most situations and you don't see that you can't just go punching people because you're you don't like something that somebody's telling you about yourself okay you need help okay you say you don't need help plenty of times but you need help okay there are certain things that you need to change because you're not going to be able to be a mom and have your baby and then you're in a situation where somebody's telling you about yourself or saying hey can you clean up this real quick because you know it's starting to look dirty real quick or you know we can't have this or you know do this and do that and you be like who you calling dirty i don't gotta listen to what you say you start fighting people like that's childish and petty it's time to grow up okay you're about to be a home mom out here that is going to be your responsibility that is going to be the person that you should be worried about not blue face okay let's just get that out the way because once you start focusing on blue face popping up over there fighting females getting your lick backs and everything else once the baby come it's just not going to be a good look you're not going to be a, you're not you're going to be away from your baby your baby you're probably not even going to get to know you because you're so focused on the streets and getting lick backs let's just get it together okay and that's just my opinion but anyway i love y'all this is um etoxic teen lounge okay and i need everybody to go follow Follow, follow, follow. Pop in the tea chat. Pop in the tea chat. Okay. That is going to be my in person podcast channel. Nothing but podcast stuff over there. Okay. We're going to be talking about every single topic that y'all would like to talk about. We're going to talk about some things, get personal, all type of stuff, nitty and gritty. All right. But anyway, I love y'all and I hope y'all like this video. I hope y'all like seeing me, Miss Dimples. Nah, but I love y'all. And for the haters in the back, I love y'all too. Bye. Toodles. Uh, uh.